They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful.
turned over to the authorities. The country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized Android models. The situation is extremely alarming. They're conducting raids across the city. Right. Try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay? quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which 
seem to be determined to kill mass actions. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the co- Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. It's them or us. We got it. Destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids. They they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mischievous. wanted a mom. You wanted a little girl. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. Police intervened quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever.
We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've... Started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. I'll go join the others. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. We are thousands, and you are alone. You kill me, you are not walking out of here alive. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom too. You. You don't have to be their slave anymore. That's enough.
really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant. Trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it! The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Foxtrot is hot outside. Request the order. Get out. If they give you any trouble at all. Affirmative. Welcome. Forward! They're coming! 
Yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. There's more down there! Follow me! Don't move! Don't shoot. I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? North. I'll join you later. like that, and I'll put you both down. Come on, go join the others.
gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Marcus, there's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. What's the matter to evacuate? Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's it over, Marcus. Deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. 
I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Marcus, I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? I don't know what to do anymore. All I have left are bad options. And no matter what I decide, there's gonna be blood. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. <sighs> well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is, or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. The previous Connor failed its mission. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the Deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. I came to say goodbye, Lieutenant. I needed to see you, Lieutenant. In spite of all of our differences, I'm glad I had the chance to meet you. You should stop looking at that photo, Lieutenant. Nothing can change the past. You can learn to live again. For yourself. And for Cole. 
You know, every time you died and came back, made me think of Cole. Give anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I understand. Now leave me alone. Go on, complete your mission, since that's all you care about. Get out of here! They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for genocide. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I'm with you, Marcus. Wherever you go, I go. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you.
it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know, I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Please! Please? Over here, please? Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Madam President! Please! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Please? Over here, please? Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the Deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The Deviants have proved to be very violent so far. They have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Thank you. That will be all. Where are they taking us? Come on, get out! 
Move on! Out! Now. You first. You really need to do this. Just do it for me. Please. Come on. It's your turn. Activate your skin. Hurry up! Please, Kara, don't... We have to. off, put your clothes in the dumpster. Come on, this way. Get a move on. <gasps> you, take this one of a dump. No, no, please, I'll, I'll do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back.
We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. Hundreds of us. What are you going to do? 